When you look out your window and make eye contact with your neighbors, you get a quick glance into their world. And like it or not, you give them a quick glance to yours. But what if you were constantly looking into the lives of your neighbors, observing all that they are doing and forming almost a connection with them? Well, this concept isn't too hard to imagine, because Alfred Hitchcock's 1954 film Rear Window answers it. In Rear Window, we follow L.B. Jeffries, played by Jimmy Stewart, who is in his second Alfred Hitchcock film in a collaboration that would last four films. Jeffries is an interesting character. Being wheelchair bound from photography at a racing track, that resulted in him getting hit. He is reserved to sitting in his apartment and spying on neighbors. We are introduced at the beginning of the film to some of his neighbors, who will become recurring characters throughout, that being Miss Torso, a lady who was shown to represent gender roles of the 1950s. Take the goings-on in her apartment as an example, having to subdue men, or wolves as Lisa refers to them. I'd say she's doing a woman's hardest job, juggling wolves. By the end of the film, we learn that Miss Torso has a lover, and had been waiting for him the whole time. Miss Torso could also be related to Jeffries who has to be taken care of due to his condition, and could be seen as demasculized, having to rely on others to further himself, in the same way Miss Torso has to rely on men to further her career. Next, we have the pianist, who throughout the film is playing the same song trying to perfect it. His perfection can also be related to Jeffrey's and his sense of perfection. The whole reason for Jeffrey's condition is due to him trying to get the perfect shot of the race. Next, we have Miss Lonely Hearts, who, you can assume by the name, represents loneliness. Specifically, Jeffrey's loneliness, due to him being constricted to a wheelchair for the entire film. Finally, are the Thorwalds. The Thorwalds are the main focus of the story, and of Jeffrey's seeming obsession. Fair warning, my discussion of the Thorwalds is my own speculation of what I think is going on, so don't take it as gospel about the true plot of Rear Window. At the beginning of the film, we are introduced to the Thorwalds as an unhappy couple. The wife is bedridden and constantly nagging at her husband. The husband also seems to be having an affair due to his constant long distance calls and attitude of the wife. Eventually in the film, the wife figures out the husband's affair and knowing that she knows this, he kills her. Their characters, and marriage represent Jeffrey's own fear of marriage with Lisa. And as Sin Structure pointed out, it's this fear that invades into Jeffrey's life. There are minor neighbors as well, such as the artist or the couple with the dog. The artist could represent Jeffrey's own job as a photographer and his artistic side, while the couple with the dog, specifically the dog, could represent Jeffrey's curiosity and how he is digging into a situation which is really not his business. See how the dog literally digs into Thorwald's flower bed where we learn Mrs. Thorwald's body parts are buried under? Further into the plot, we uncover Thorwald's plan and the film's masterful use of cinematography and editing makes us think that Jeffrey's might be on to nothing and crafting horrible theories about other people's business. But soon we figure out that that's not the case. While this video is more about the neighbors in the film and their characters, I want to detour to talk about this scene because it's my video and this scene is amazing. The use of lighting to shroud both their faces in darkness makes both characters seem so ominous. I think this may represent how Thorwald reflects one of Jeffrey's fears, and thus they are similar in so many ways, but while we get Thorwald closer up and bigger and, you know, standing, we get Jeffrey smaller and sat down, showing the true danger Jeffrey's is in. As Thorwald gets closer, we get flashes of him from Jeffrey's camera until the final battle between the two and the arrest of Thorwald. This scene is incredible at suspense and worry making us think that Jeffries might have actually been too far over his head and might meet his end to Thorwald. I just needed a detour to talk about that scene and finish up our discussion of Thorwald's relationship with Jeffries. The neighbors of the film end up getting little endings to their stories. The pianist, the pianist finally finishes his song, Miss Torso's army boyfriend returns home, and Miss Lonelyheart connects and forms a bond with the pianist, and the couple with the dog just 
don't have a dog anymore. The film ends on a comical moment where we see Jeffries now having both legs in a cast, and we get a happy ending, assuming that Jeffries doesn't get any more obsessed spying on his neighbors. The neighbors in Rear Window are a great view into Jeffrey's life, and the window of which Jeffrey looks at these neighbors literally looks like a TV, so you could view these neighbors as his own personal show, which is another thing I'm stealing from poor Sinspark. Sorry, not sorry. And this whole connection between the two is just masterful, and really shows Hitchcock's, uh, well, directing ability. I know you were really doubting Hitchcock being a good director until Golden Pre came in with this amazing video. And I just wanted to talk about The Neighbors. But still, Rear Window is a fantastic film, and I would definitely recommend watching it. I would also recommend subscribing and maybe liking the video. Uh, I could really, really use that, and I would really appreciate it. So until the next video, I've been your host, Golden Pre. Goodbye.